Javier. Um, one, I'm, I'm just wondering your thoughts on tonight and uh, what didn't go right for you guys. And two, I'm just wondering about frustration and maybe growing frustration with, uh, with you guys uh, with the way the results are going. Yeah, things need, we need to do different things, obviously, to get out of here. I don't know what, we need to figure it out, but we cannot keep doing the same things and waiting for the same results. It's very frustrating, man. I don't know what else to say. Greg was talking a little bit about maybe you guys trying to be too perfect and, and wasn't questioning the effort. Do you think the effort's there? And, and do you think maybe you guys are trying to be too perfect? Yeah, the effort is there, but the effort is not enough either. Yeah, we need so many things to change. Starting from, like, I believe that more people need to come here and face the things where the same people speaking always. That's a thing that he needs to change too, you know? We're always speaking here, the same guys. So I think that that should change in the beginning and then in the training ground, another stuff needs to change. Something needs to change, man. We're, we need to be accountable and we need to see that the reality is not in the way that we are doing. We cannot say that things, we're gonna turn around doing the same things. We can't. Javier, I can see your disappointment and you're a player that always yeah. puts so much passion and yeah. effort into how you play. When you look to your left and your right with your teammates, I asked coach uh, a question and said, did he feel let down by the players? But at the same time, you can feel, feel let down by your own teammates. And you talk about players maybe not coming out and facing the music. You always do that. Do you feel like there's something you're, as a captain, there's only so much you can do? Like, how do you feel about moving forward and what you think can happen here? I mean, uh, the fans were right, because I think this organization deserves better. That's everything that I want to say. We all deserve better, but we need to gain that betterness. The fans are right. We deserve better, like we all deserve, starting from me. But the thing is, If all of us don't go and feel that this situation is not the situation that you want to be, you don't need to suffer. You need to realize that it's painful. If you don't realize that it's painful and you don't care about this club, you shouldn't be here. That's all the what I'm going to want to say. LA Galaxy being almost in the last of the conference, nah, that's not like, that's not something that Galaxy deserves. You know, we could be three or four more spots higher having a bad, a bad season, at least. And I don't know, I don't know, it's, yeah, in, in my career and in my life, I learned that you need to do the things that you have control with. That's your mentality, that's your effort, that's your reaction, that's your professionalism, that's your decision making, not only inside the field, outside the field. And we are not doing enough. That's for sure, all of us, that's for sure. That's why we are where we are. Javier, thank you so much for your time. Um, today was one of five games over the next 15 days. Uh, you have a game, Seattle Wednesday, and then the Cali Clasico, El Domingo on Sunday. As the games come thick and fast, like how do you approach them? And then are you guys looking ahead to any games, say like the Cali Clasico to kind of jumpstart the season, kind of motivate you. You guys have spoken about motivation, you know, why you guys here if not, if you're not motivated. Is something like the Cali Costco something that could, you know, spark the team to dale se como that chispa? In my point of view, if you find motivation in just the Classicos, that means that you're not a big team. If you're a big team, you need to find every single game as a final. That's what I learned being in the top teams. You go to Stoke City when I was in Manchester United and you feel that you need to play like if it was Liverpool, man, to survive over there. <laughs> when you were with Real Madrid, we went to, I don't know, Granada, Cordoba, and <laughs> you need to survive there too. And we're Real Madrid, you know? So, man, this organization, the least that we can give is everything, man. I keep com came coming here and telling you guys and me telling them my teammates, it's like, Supposed to be hard, supposed to be. Like, greatness is not about pleasure, no. Greatness takes a lot of your life, a lot out of your time, a lot about your effort, a lot. It takes a lot, man. It takes, I haven't met 
any champion or winner that says it was easy, ever. Tell Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Hamilton, Ayrton Senna, rest in peace, who else, Muhammad Ali, who else? We are LA Galaxy, man. Uh, we don't, when I say when we, we need to behave at the standard, the standard is you need to be, you need to, f they're giving you the chance to be the, the greatest. You know, you're in the greatest fucking organization in, in USA. At least you give everything. And if teams are better than us, perfect. Like, I can take that. I can take that losses. I can take that. In the traffic that happened, we were the way better. We kill ourselves. But we were the better team. But we lost. I take that ones. But these ones at home against a direct rival, man, no. Not good enough. Not good enough. And yeah, the fans are, were right in this time. They were, they were right. Thanks for your time, Javi. You're welcome. Thank you.